So this is going to be a, a, a process to set up preload on a 2019 Kawasaki H2 SX SE Plus. You can do the setup through the uh, handlebar controls and using the uh, onboard menu that way, although it's much more direct and much more easier to do it via software uh, with Rideology app and Bluetooth synced to your motorcycle, which is what we're doing here today. As you can see, I've got the Rideology app and going. It says here that we're connected. So I'm going to move over now to the setup screen. And we have a number of options here. Primarily, preload on this motorcycle has three primary uh, settings that you can use. Uh, one is rider, being a rider with bag. And then you have rider, passenger, and bags. Currently, even though my motorcycle, as you can see over in the corner, is set up for two riders and bags, we're going to uh, swap that out and go through just a basic setup. And at the end of uh, uh, the basic setup, I can provide some numbers that came off of my bike that seem to uh, be accurate for my weight, etc. And we'll walk through those here in a little bit. So we're going to set this bike up for preload pre mode of a rider and a bag. And you can see that you can select the different uh, three preload modes. So we'll just do rider, for example, on this one. Tap the off the menu and it'll select that. So now we're set for rider. And then once you have your uh, basic preload mode set, you can do load adjustment. And load adjustments allows for an increment or decrement from a zero setting, let's say, adding or subtracting up to a maximum of five either direction. So negative five up to positive five. Takes a little, sometimes it takes a little bit for my fingers to hit this button right. So you can see we can go to maximum five down to negative five. And if you increase the, the uh, load adjustment on this, it decreases your sag. So we're going to go ahead and just put zero in there. So you can see currently we have a payload mode of one person and we have a load adjustment of zero. On my bike over here, you can see that I've got rider, passenger, and bag. And we're going to change that by sending the settings over. We have to apply that, as you see here, on the screen. So we use our left hand control to cycle through. And then you hit your right hand uh, mode button. You can hear the servo motor in the back changing that setting on this bike. So now the bike is set up for a single rider. It has zero load adjustment. And that setup is uh, basically an easy, straightforward thing to do. You can also, within this uh, rideology menu, set your other adjustments as well. So you have your brake control and quick shifter, et cetera. We're not going to be uh, talking about those today. And then you can set your compression and your tension as well. These numbers uh, that I have here, uh, front tension at plus three and uh, front compression negative two, rear tension at plus four, and rear compression at negative four were set to me, set for me by Dave when I was at the track here a couple weeks ago. And I've kept those settings in, uh, in my system uh, to experiment with. We're going to go back and we're going to change the preload mode and we'll add a passenger and a bag. So there's rider with luggage. We could do a load adjustment if we chose to do so. Again, remembering that the higher the load adjustment, it's going to bring your sag 
down, meaning uh, getting closer. If you're looking for a 30 to 40 on this bike, on the rear suspension adjustment, uh, that's not possible on my bike. Uh, I was talking with Kawasaki about this, and they said that other than in the manual, there's no specifications for the uh, for SAG information on this motorcycle, other than that of the manual. Well, the manual really provides nothing in terms of SAG exactly. The uh, rear compression ex full extension on this bike with the tire off the ground is about 140 millimeters, and the front is about 120, so you can use those numbers as, a, as your base starting point before you start actually doing some SAG measurements for calculations on your bike. So we changed it to rider with bag, and just for the heck of it, we'll do a load adjustment, and we'll just bump it up to five. And then we'll send that over to the bike. We have to hit the right, or the left-hand control, bottom mode button, and that'll move over. Now we use the right-hand control mode button to apply. And that, again, sort of changes that into what we had off the Rideology app. Now the bike is set up with rider and bag with a plus five. For me, when I uh, check my rear sag, it's not anywhere near a 30 to 40 range. For me, uh, with rider only, I have a rear sag at zero, at a uh, zero load adjustment of 75. If I added plus, use a plus five load adjustment to that on that rider bag payload mode, I could get it down to 70. If I use a negative five on that adjustment, uh, this is rider only, uh, it would be at 79. The zero point adjustment on that would be at a 75. So you can see there's roughly a nine, 10 spread between the negative five up to positive five on that. The uh, SAG adjustments with rider and bag, this again is for me, I'm about 173 pounds. Uh, with the zero adjustment with rider and bag, I'd have a SAG of about 78. If I go up to a plus five on that, which this bike is currently set at right now, we just set it, I'd have a SAG of about 74. If I went to a negative five, I had a SAG about uh, 82. If we change that, and we're just going to go to the pay, payload mode of rider, passenger, and bag, we're going to keep it at plus five because that gets us closest to the 40 to 30 to 40 range, still pretty far away. I'll talk about that in just a second. So we're going to send that. Apply it. So now we have rider passenger with baggage. That's set at a plus five. On my bike, rider, passenger, and bag with zero load adjustment would be at a sag of 66. With the plus, fa uh, plus five, it drops it roughly to about a 62. 